Hey friends, happy Saturday. It is 6.30 at night and I thought I better come on and say hey because it's only like two minutes long. Woke up this morning early, did not sleep well again last night. Um, I don't know what gives me terrible dreams, I can't remember, but I just know waking up and not sleeping well. But we woke up to rain. We knew we were supposed to get rain all day today. No sunshine. It's been a gloomy, gloomy day. So this morning, um, oh, I just sat. Mr. Jerry ended up um, finishing up. He cleaned the two bathrooms for me because I wasn't feeling the greatest. But he, and I shouldn't say the greatest because it's not like I felt sick. I just felt you know tired just tired um, but Callie got me up early and early was like 20 after 7 and so um, he slept I let him sleep I didn't make him give it you know I was as quiet as I could be and he slept until 9 so he really needed it and um, Miss Callie and I came out here she had her breakfast and my goal today was to finish the cross stitch um, of that 10 part series the log cabin Christmas log cabin and so I did do that this morning and um, I knitted a little bit on my um, sweater and then um, I just trying to think what I did I've been watching all the ships at the Sioux locks because they had a ship that um, hit a buoy up there and it closed down um, everything for a good day, day and a half, something like that. So there's 28 ships. So they have been coming in and out, just back and forth, back and forth. And it's just so much fun to watch. So I've been watching that today. But the weather is just really gloomy and bleh. <laughs> Um, and so this afternoon I um, made um, two loaves of bread. I'm going to give um, our son and his family and our daughter and her husband a loaf of our sandwich bread. And then Mr. Jerry ran in town and um, I thought he was just going to pick up, you know, just the little bit that we needed for tomorrow, but he bought groceries. And then he picked up Easter cards and little chocolate bunnies for the grandkids and he did get gift cards for them too so um and they're all set waiting for everybody for tomorrow so basically everything is ready to go um our meal tomorrow is going to be ham we always get it's in the purple bag from walmart i think it's smith smithfield's ham something like that it's really good ham and we're going to have mashed potatoes and um, carrots, corn, and um, he's decided to make green bean casserole. I don't like green bean casserole, but our kids do, and he does. And the carrots, how he does it is it was a recipe in um, oh, a cookbook we have, and basically all you're doing is you cook the carrots up and you put them in the blender and then it's you doctor it up I mean it has honey in it and butter and salt and pepper I think that's about it um, so it's like like I said whip sweet potatoes but it's um, carrots and then um, the kids are supposed to be bringing rolls and dessert and uh, whatever else their little heart desires so it's not that we won't be <laughs> lacking on food, but um, I'm not going to be recording too much tomorrow. I will try to just, um, I'll take pictures of the food and if I think of it. But my um, thing is, is I'm going to try to, try to, I am going to enjoy my time with my family and my grandkids. And um, they're used to me picking up the camera and snapping pictures all the time. Um, but ever since um, the pandemic had hit, I put the camera down and I just sat and I enjoyed and I listened and I watched and I didn't take pictures. 
I lived in the moment with them. So, um, but that's probably what will happen tomorrow too. Um, we are planning on them here about 1230. So they will either be here at 1230 or quarter to one. And I told Mr. Jerry, I said, you know, it's 1230 because he tends to try to have everything done right at when we tell him to get here. And so he says, oh, so in other words, don't get it done until at least one. I says, well, you can do, you know, quarter to one pretty close to it. So, um, because they pretty much know that once they get here, we're usually eating, um, fairly quickly. And then just sitting around chit chatting with family. <sighs> so, um, other than that, I don't have too much to talk about today. It's just, you know, doing, doing the, the best I can and, um, staying on track, tracking, being kind to myself, you know, all the things that we need to do to um, survive this, <laughs> this journey. But um, Miss Callie is on the floor next to me and um, she looks better today. Um, her fur looks better today. Uh, she's not eating. The last two days, she's not eating like she usually would. Um, but she's eating, and she's still drinking, but at least her fur looks better. And she's sleeping like she should be, like most senior cats do. So... But anyways, oh, I keep putting my finger in the way because I don't want to get the tripod, the tripod out. So I think I'm going to let you go. I am going to um, set out here. Oh, I did crochet on that mosaic blanket. That's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, I've got one more in and I have one complete round done and I have to do <clears throat> two more rounds. Of double crochet and then I need to then um, you know enclose the the um, two flaps together for the envelope style so instead of knitting I think I will pull that out here in my recliner and um, work on that tonight I did a lot of knitting last night and <clears throat> just trying to get the loose ends tied up around here you know um, but I hope that you all have a very blessed Easter, and I hope that um, it is good to you, and um, that you enjoy it, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. This journey can be so difficult at times, and it is nice to know that there's others that have walked it before and understand or are walking it with you. And um, it's also good to know that when times are good, you got people there cheering you on and you can cheer them on. So, but anyways, um, I'll let you go this time. I chuckle because my grandma always used to do this. She would call and um, she would talk and then she'd say, oh, I better let you go. Jerry's probably home. And then she'd talk another hour. So I guess I come by it naturally and I miss my grandma. She's a sweet, sweet lady. But anyways, friends, have a blessed Sunday um, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.